everyone welcome back to my channel mama jojo rain real and today i if you're new to my channel on my channel i talk about my personal weight loss joining i talk about water fasting i fast a lot i talk about financing budgeting being debt free world cultures so those are the things i talk about and from time to time i'll just talk about hot topics that you know come to mind or people talk about you know in the community that can be of help to other people or just to ourselves as we grow and today i want to talk about birth control the issues of birth control teenage pregnancy and everything you know because it's it's a struggle because we live in a society where people have strong christian values and sometimes from time to time you will see like a christian kid like a pastor kid or or someone who's living very well according to him and to, to, to God's standards and that people can see, you see that kid get pregnant, right? And sometimes society society does not understand that people make decisions contrary to their upbringing, but sometimes they blame the parents and they blame other people. So what I want to talk about is should a Christian put their children, the, the, should born again parents put their children on birth control? And my answer is going to be two folds the first part is no and the second part is yes and first i will start with no as we all know if you are born again christian if you are in any form of any church if you profess to be a born again christian and you profess jesus as your lord and savior sex is only for married people so if you are not married and you're having sex and you profess to be a christian that's something you need to ask god to help you with so you can pretend to, so i'm sorry so you can repent because we all know sex is for married people so if you are a christian and you are born again and you're raising your children in godly in godly principles and everything when your daughter gets a period or your boy reaches that age as a parent you will sit down with that child and tell them this is what the Bible says. This is what would keep you from sicknesses, from heartbreak, from all of these diseases if you wait for to have sex until you get married. And that's what born again Christian parents would do. And they would leave it in front of their children, right? But when you tell your children these things, hopefully you expect that they will listen to it. They will you know, say, yes, I accept my parents' fit, that marriage, the sex is for, for married people, that I will wait until I get married. So if you have a child who has come to profess Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, who has said, you know what, I'm going to wait until marriage, and I'm going to follow God, I'm going to wait despite the culture, I would say, no, don't put that child on birth control, right? Because the child has accepted that God is, the child has accepted to walk in the ways of God, right? So I would say, no, nope, do not put that child on birth control. But on the contrary, we live in a world where people make choices of their own. We see children that can, parents that can talk to their children, do everything right. And the children will still decide, you know, I'm going to have sex no matter what. Because we don't live in the outside world. And we live in a world where everyone has different value system, has different beliefs, believes different things. So when your child goes out there and if you are one of, if you are unfortunate and you don't find, find good people to reinforce those values. And the tendency of all of their friends and peer pressure and all of that, your child's going to have sex. And there's and you cannot change it because you are a Christian does not mean your child will be will, 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 will your child will be a Christian. No, because you're abstaining from sex, because you are celibate, because you say you're gonna do things God's way, does not mean everybody out there believes in God or everybody out there gonna do things God's way. No. So in those situations, if your child decides to become sexually active against your will, against the, for their life, and that's what they feel is right for them. I personally, if I were in that situation, I would put my child on birth control. And the reason why I would do that, someone would say, oh, you're encouraging the child to have sex. But the thing is, I am looking at the consequences of sex. Because if I don't put my child on birth control, it's difficult to be a parent. It's expensive 
to be your parent. I don't think it is fair for my child to be bring a child into this world that will become a burden on taxpayers, right? And that's just how I look at it. I don't think that it is fair for people to willingly or knowingly have children and know they cannot support or take care of those children and they don't have any source of income. I don't think it is it is not fair and it's not the right thing to do. So if I were faced with those situations, and because I don't want the responsibility, I don't want my child to be of a natural burden or my or my grandchildren to be of a natural burden on other people, and I was faced with that situation, of course I'll put my child on birth control. Because whether I say I cannot stop the child, whether I say don't do it, if they find out what to do, they're going to do it. So what do you do? So you say, you know what, since this is the decision you want to take, it's not that you're encouraging the child, but because you do not want that responsibility. But if you want that responsibility and you want to be your grandma that will take care of the kids and everything, if you, if you, are, if you are called in that department to be such a loving person, to, I don't know, to, a, to cater and care and nurture for a baby, your, daughter, your kid's child has a long, young age, you know, I, I, I salute you, but I personally, where I am in my life, I'm not ready for that yet. And I wouldn't personally take my daughter to the doctor and say, okay, put her on breath control. But I would tell her, I say, well, this is what the Bible says. I raised you this way. And you can decide to do, the, do it God's way and be safe and save yourself the STD, save yourself the heartbreak, save yourself pregnancies, save yourself unwanted pregnancies where you'll be on burden on other people. But if you choose the other way, hey, there is something called birth control because you are not financially prepared, you are not mentally prepared, and you don't even have, you are not stable, you don't have a stable job, you don't have an income, you have nothing to really bring and sustain a child into this world. So... If that's what you want to do, there is something called birth control. Make sure you do that. I will do that. And because it's not that I'm not a Christian or I'm, uh, uh, or I'm encouraging my child. But the thing is, it's like, you know, like I was talking to a friend the other day at my friend's business shop. And she was telling me, she said, her, her brother, because she's in America, he has no job. And she sends money to the family. He went and he impregnated this girl and said, oh, you know what? My sister in America is going to take care of us. And he moved the girl to his house. He has no job. And because she's in America, she sends money back home to the family, to the family every month. So he's using that to abuse her, bring children into this world that he cannot take care of because he's depending on other people. I'm not saying in a certain situation things happen, right? In situation teenagers may get pregnant or or they may Things were happy in the situation, yes. But I personally started a sex talk with my daughter at age 10. Because I was a single mom at the time. And I started this sex talk with her. And I said, look, it's not easy to be a single mom. It's, I told her everything. And I said, if that's your choice, it will be your choice. But don't expect me to be there 100% for you. So I started the sex talk earlier. And that's the, you see, I'm an African and African people are afraid to talk about sex with their children. They don't want to go there. But hey, as African, it's not our culture, but we live in a world where we don't live in a utopia. My daughter's name is Utopia. We don't live in a perfect world. Everybody has different values. Even people in the church, that goes, people that go to church, they are not Christians, they have different values, sister, because everybody is on a different level. So you start the sex talk early and talk to your kids. And if they are into that, if you don't want that responsibility, it's not that you're encouraging them, but talk to them, tell them about birth control. I will not take my child to anywhere to put her on birth control, but I will tell her this, this, this is out there. They have AIDS out there, they have these STDs out there. They have condoms out there. They have form, different forms of birth control out there. And if that's what you want, you, 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 and I just want to remind you, you're supposed to be a Christian. And if you decide to do that, you are living in open rebellion. You are choosing to be in open rebellion before God. And there are consequences for that. But if that's your choice, I cannot stop you. You're an adult. And I'm not going to push down my religion or my lifestyle on you. But just know there are consequences out there. 
And if that's the route I want you, you want to take, I don't want to lose you to any kind of HIV or STDs. I want you to be safe. So go out and research, meet with your doctor, research the best form of birth control for you because you are not ready to bring and take care of a child into this world. Because I don't think, I personally, I don't think it's fair for other people to have children and especially in america when they're all of these options are here you know so other people can you know to be a burden on taxpayers because if you're 60 70 years old and you have a baby you don't have a job it means you have to live with your parents it means you have to go down to the to the county to get assistance right it means you have to go and get wake it means you have to go uh, and get so many things as compared to let's say if you were out of college got a career and you're working even if you're not married, it's your choice, but I prefer you having child, your children in marriage, but things happen, and you decide to have a child, your ability to provide for that child will be will be much higher, and for that child to succeed will be as be higher, because you have your education, you have your job, you have a stable job, you have ways to make income, and you can be very independent as compared to having children at a younger age. So those are the factors that I will look into our modern world. But all in all, children are blessings and no child is a mistake, right? And based on your situation, based on what you're going through, if that has happened to you, if it has not happened to you yet, but we all need to start talking to our children about sex education, being honest with them about all of these things. Because you see, I'm from Africa. Sometimes you go to some African churches, they will say, tell you, oh, the fruit of the womb, pray for children, pray for this. But sometimes they don't, they don't come clean to tell you, what is involved in taking care of children, the financial aspect, the emotional time, the emotional side of it, the, 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 the time, the time you have to take them to the library, the homework, the nurturing, the this. They don't tell you about the list of things that come to caring for children, right? So when I come on my channel, I want to be as transparent. Yes, children are blessing from God, but sometimes they can also be cursed, cursed if you do, on your, that you brought on yourself if you don't plan to have them properly. So what are your thoughts? And that's just my thoughts. So I would say it depends on the situation. It depends on the child. And it depends on the person's finances. And it depends on the, on the support system that the person has. But things do happen. I personally, I don't believe in birth, I don't believe in abortion. I'm pro-life. So if that, if that had happened to me, we're going to get, because my daughter is an adult now, but if that had happened to me while doing her teenage years, we're going to keep the baby. We're going to keep the baby, but not on woods, you know, she's almost 20 years old now, so she's an adult, but that, I'm one of those, it didn't happen, but we started the sex education early. So what age are you starting sex education with your children? As African people, we need to rise above or being shy. I started it at, in fact, we talk about sex. I'm an open parent, you know, and would that help? Would that make, I don't know, but I don't want to be one of those parents who to pretend that these things don't exist because they do exist. And we have to know that we live in a world, it's really in a technology age where even your kids on their computer, something can pop up. And American kids are very smart. The world has become a global village. And if you think those kids don't know things, Trust me, you are deceiving yourself. They do know. So share your thoughts with me. And if you like what I've said, or if you have questions, or if you see things differently, please, we can all be civil. No insults, no insulting people. That's just my view of how I see the situation. If you have a contrary view to it, please share your thoughts. And we can all create a healthy discussion without insult or getting mad you know because sometimes someone makes a video and you don't agree with it because i don't know your pain you don't know my pain but we can all create a healthy environment where we can come and maybe i'm seeing it from a different angle or if you got ripped or something but i want us to open this discussion and go from there so if you like my channel if you like some of the things i talk about please hit the subscribe button and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching i will see you in my next video my my jojo roy and Ray. oh and before i go I have this new channel called Parents Against Student Loans. So I'll put the link down below. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. Mama Georgia Roy Ria. Hit that subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Ciao.